sure the mic's on, okay. We're on. We are ready to rumble. Um, okay, so I thought today I would do a, I'm in a different place. I'm in my son's bedroom. I'm gonna throw those toys and everything behind me. I'm going to be doing a book review recommendation video.
she goes to this house and you know there's all kinds of weird stuff going on but she's going and sorting through Verity's notes when she finds a dark autobiography um, that Verity never intended for anyone to read it's got like crazy admissions in this autobiography and it she tells stuff that like I can't even imagine um, writing down it's the most horrendous thing but it's really good as a crazy twisted ending and you kind of decide what you want to believe of course I believe I that Verity is cuckoo but you can make that decision on your own after you read the book I would highly recommend that if you haven't already I know it's I'm late to the game um, everything we never said. This is more of a young adult um, book, but it still has a lot of like, I wouldn't let my teenager, like, I wouldn't want them to read this probably. But it's about this girl and her best friend was killed in an accident while she was driving. Ella was the driver, Haley was her best friend that was killed. And she only had one beer, but she, like, continues to blame herself this whole time, and then she goes back to school, and everything is reminding her of her best friend, including Sawyer, which is Haley's boyfriend, and little by little, they start growing closer and closer until Ella realizes something horrifying. She's racked with guilt, you know, she feels terrible about liking um, Haley's boyfriend, and then she finds that her friend left a journal, and she starts reading it, and she discovers that she didn't know a lot of the dark secrets of her best friend's, like, love life and what was going on, and it has a really twisted ending as well, so as you can see, I like a twisty ending, because it's just nice when you're, like, reading it, and you're like, I've got this so figured out, this is so, but then you're like, okay, do I have it figured out, and then it comes down, and you're like, maybe I'm just stupid, but I'm always, like, thinking I've got it, and then it ends up, no, you don't, boo, and this is the book that I just, just am reading, and just finished, like, Last night, and I'm still like, it was so good. And it's called That's Not My Name. Um, she thought she had her life back, but she was wrong. It was a mistake to trust him. So this girl wakes up, and she's cold and shivering and bruised. And she's a teenager, and she wakes up on the side of the dirt road and has absolutely no memory of how she got there. Um, an officer comes and track and ring takes her in and then a frantic man comes in and he's like oh my gosh my daughter is missing I've been looking for her for hours um he has her school ID her birth certificate and her family photos um but is he really her father is her name really Mary like he's saying and then on the flip side you have Boyfriend whose girlfriend has gone missing from his perspective, and it's a girl named Lola, and it's like trying to find her from his perspective, and you you're like trying to figure out what to believe. You don't know what to believe. It's really I'm not. I saw one girl talk about this on Book Talk, and she was saying like she doesn't know why it's called That's Not My Name, and. She was like, I don't know why this isn't more popular with, you know, book talk. And, um, it really, really, I don't either because it's, it's so good. It's, and it really wraps you in. I just got the free sample at first. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this. And I don't know. I don't, and I was hooked and I had to buy it immediately because I was like, okay, I've got to know what her name is, who it is, what's going on. Speaking of book talk, more like mom talk, but it just made me think of talk. Have you guys watched like the secret lives of Mormon wives? Because that show was crazy. I'm not a Mormon. Um, it's more. 
it's not my cup of tea. I'm a, I'm a Christian, but, um, and Mormons, I think they say they're a branch of Christianity, but, like, not the real Christians are not, like, I mean, I don't know. The Christians that I associate with are not, like, those people, <laughs> those girls. I mean, a few of them I really liked. Like, I liked Taylor or Frankie Ball or whatever. She wasn't too bad. And, like, um, Demi, um, Demi, and I'm trying to think of the other ones. Sorry, this one's coming in really bright. Um, I feel really sorry for the one girl um, named Jen, I believe. Her husband is just so controlling and a little crazy. Then you have Whitney, and her husband is a little bit in the closet, I think. And she, he's been on Tinder the entire, the entirety of their, like, relationship and marriage, which to me is, like, the biggest, um, just, not, not even a red flag. It's just, like, how do you stay with somebody who has literally, um, disrespect, disrespected you since, like, day dot? I was on like um, Love Island, like the UK version, because they say that. But I watch a little bit too much of that. But I thought that would be a lot longer. I thought I had more books. I really want to figure out how to film me playing a girl on Roblox and like dress to impress because I've been loving playing it anyways and I've been loving watching the ASMR videos. I just don't know how to do it like that. I'm not tech savvy. I don't have any. There it goes. I was like, I don't have any brightness filter on, but sun shining in and. Um, well, that is going to wrap this up. I know this is a really short one, but my puppy is whining for me at the door, and he gets super impatient. So, I love you. Love. Love. Sending you lots of love. Positive.